Hello! Welcome back in Starfields. I have just been arrested from uh, from uh, my Aquila uh, security station after being shot or killed several times. Shooting. Shooting them. So what happened? Okay. Um, remember that uh, little quest? Let me get my uh, quest icon up. Remember that quest I had? I had to plant confidential files at the Lerido Firearms in Aquila City. And remember that they kept staying a guard so they that door. Um, I, I shot him. I just killed the guard. I'm sorry I didn't film that, but it was just a check to see if it would work. I killed him. Um, everybody fled. Apparently they didn't came up to up to the offices to arrest me, so I snuck inside the office, planted the uh, the uh, files, then left again and then I got shot several times by guards so I thought well just kill me then kill me. Open fire. when I'm killed why can't why can't I be imprisoned I mean I'm getting killed um when I came back alive, they started shooting at me again. See what happens when we. Okay, I'm... Am I... So I quickly googled a little bit, and apparently, what I had to do, or what I was and could do, and I did, is wait 72 hours, which I did. As soon as I went outside again, after waiting 32 hours on a chair, guards came up to me, but they didn't shoot me. They were arresting me for stolen properties. As far as I know, I don't have any stolen properties, but I paid a fine, about 1560 I believe. And apparently we're all good now. So that means that I should set a course. And can finally finish that site. Before I do that, I, I could of course fast travel, but before I do that, let me quickly walk through the city. Let's see if I am truly off the hook now. So the mission has been accomplished. I was in the prison. I was set free after paying the fine. Okay, what have we here? This is a guard. That's just no. Well. No, no, it's just a guard. We need to be smarter. Okay. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna see if I go to the yes over there. If if I am still being hunted as a criminal. And the first place I'm gonna be shot at is the rock, is the so called police offices. If people are treating me as normal, then I think I have succeeded in a very stupid way, mind you, then I have succeeded in the mission. Um, there's also an option you can actually... Uh, oh, there's an inventory here. That might be interesting. You can actually pay your bounty. You saw what you did at Galbank. That was really something. Yeah. I'm a new deputy. Take care of yourself out there. You're probably hey. looking for Mary. What? Can you heal me? The doctor can provide any supplies you might need. Oh. Are the doctor? You're, you're the nurse. You're, you're the doctor. You're getting scrape. Me? You heal me to full power. Let's full, have uh... a look at you. Damn, deputy. You're lucky to be all in one piece. I have to pay them. Hold still now. Weird. I'm. I thought okay, it was a deputy. Ranger, that's about it. 
Go on now. The Free Star Collective ain't gonna protect itself. Okay. I got a feeling this ain't the last I'll see of you. But it's kind of weird, actually, that I have to pay uh, to get meals. Um, what I was going to say, I was also being told that you can actually pay a bounty. And of course, if I have a bounty... Aquila's really the heart of the Hey, Easter. deputy! That's it, then? Okay, I don't see an option to pay my bounty. I'm always watching. The Rangers will find all the bad. Okay, but there is a computer here. Let's check if there's a bounty on my. I don't think there is. The mission board. Oh, show me the mission. Oh, okay, those are those missions. Okay, so yeah, I think I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Being shot at anymore. So in that case, head back to Dion and let's fulfill this uh, mission, and hopefully we can leave this debacle far behind. Um. Oh. Force to. Hold on. Landing target. Yes. I'm sorry. Let's see how, what how they react. I mean, I shot guard. I wasn't arrested for planting uh, material in their in a chest. I was arrested for killing someone could not have any negative impact on the mission at, at um, Drian, Orion. I hope. There's only one way to find out. Uh, okay, let's head to Orion. Hamsa kept pestering me about this damn missing slate. Like security's got time to track something like that down. Uh, uh, okay, uh, first I want to check out this mission. Let's see if this, if I have succeeded. I said, then I can actually leave this debacle behind me because I consider this a debacle. It's either a, um, it was either a bug or a glitch or whatever that that guard kept staying there because I read all the walkthroughs and I was just supposed to. Slither towards the door, open door in secret, behind the uh, the employee, and job's done. But um, now as I try to steal a digger pick from a, a desk, they arrested me. And then I came back. I again, and the guards were. There, so okay, let's see how the boss thinks I have done. Marshes. I was hoping you'd show up soon. Is it done? Uh, let's see. I think said, it should be ours. Oh. oh, I was hoping you'd show up soon. Is it done? Yes, I just said so. Big walk. Never see it coming, except the guard is dead. Don't get too comfortable. Those who do usually don't last long in this field. Only thing is, your work wasn't exactly pristine, and we were forced to deduct damages from your pay. Yes, yes, how just much? Just a bit more discretion in the future. Yes. Huh? There's a little bit now, less riches in the game. I think it's time to examine a different set of skills. How much did he got? Twelve fifty. Okay. Think I've more than proven myself by now. It's a decent start, but we'll see. Your next assignment is to find the security chief and use some creative thinking to obtain their security keycard. 
And when I say creative, I don't mean with a weapon. Either look the part and be persuasive, or be quick with your I hands. I have a key card. A UCS key card, which, okay. You suggest in getting the key card? A security chief isn't going to give the time of day to just anybody. A nice suit should do the trick. Or, uh -huh. who knows? Some operatives are known to have a security guard uniform or two in their closet they can rely on. Just be careful. Getting caught could mean a mess, and cleanup isn't cheap. Okay, let's get started. I'm oh. sure you'll be able to get that key card without incident. What Just key card remember, do you want? Because I have a happen, UCS key card it's up to you at the to moment. Bail yourself out. What kind of key card do you need? Or a DSO? On the map. Where is that? I will have been there before. We set the course and let's jump to her. Because I haven't been there before. Okay, let's let's see if I can actually do a mission now without getting caught or without blasting people in the face. Be a nice change of plan change of uh, plans. And yes, I haven't forgotten that there was a different mission I was also doing. This is Jiro Sugiyama, head of Paradiso Security. I apologize for coming over this emergency channel, but we are in need of assistance concerning the large ship in orbit, and we value discretion in this matter. If you are willing and able, please see me as soon as possible at the main security office in Paradiso. Over now. Mission active. Okay, well, let's do that then. Uh, wear a suit or a security guard uniform. Let's see if I have... I believe I have a suit. Let's see. Um... Found the new items, by the way, which I have. Oh, I didn't... I knew I'd hunt that one. Um... Exchange outfit. Wait, don't I have a nice suit? I thought I did. Ah. Might be a small problem. Maybe there's a store in Paradise so I can actually get myself in a nice suit. Oh, I had one. Oh, no, wait, maybe that was a different character that had that suit. I can't recall, can't remember. Okay, well, anyway. Before I meet this guard, I should find a shop or a store. Or a security uh, guard uniform. It should also be possible. Anyway, Paradiso. First time I've been here. The landing. First, I need, 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 I need a suit or a guard. Oh, hello. That's security officers over here. We've got some of the best private security in the settled systems. It's nice.
Oh my me, I'm just passing by. Oh hello, what's this? How oh, easy to <laughs> I thought it was that easy, but it's not that easy. Okay, the UCS security offices had a um they bunk. So I had a uh, changing room when I got a key card. You'd think we'd be a prime target for pirates, but they know to stay away for the most part. Cool dude. Just walking around to see. I'll enter in here, okay. To see if there's any. Any, any, any. Scrubs. I don't think we're gonna. What is here? Office apparently are uh, one of the officers. Standing over there. Wait, can I just pick these up? Is it a stealing if I did? Chief Sukiyama, wasn't he? Wasn't he uh, the mission? Let me check. Yes. Oh, you know, let's let's. Let's do that first. Maybe uh, maybe we can actually a uh, oh, what's that? Oh, what the hell happened with the fix suddenly? Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sukiyama at your service. Okay. So do you have a whoa. security concern or is there something else I can help you with? What's going on? Okay. Um Paradise Security affiliated with UCS, UC or Freestar? <laughs> Neither. We're our own private force. The Paradiso Group pays top dollar. Okay, I'm not quite sure what happened with the graphics, but hopefully and it'll I come dare back. I say we're some of the best in the business. We have to be out here on the fringes of the settled systems. Okay, I'm here about the distress call you sent. Ah, yes, of course. I'm glad you came. As you can imagine, we're in a bit of a predicament. Under normal circumstances, we would not enlist outside help in this manner. But this is a matter we can't afford to worry our guests about. As such, we need to handle this discreetly. Failure on your part to do so could have severe consequences. So, before we proceed, can you swear not to discuss this with anyone else unless explicitly directed to do so? Oh, sure I can. Understood. I swear it. Great. I appreciate it. Not too long ago, a strange and enormous ship appeared in Parima space. It is now locked in orbit around our planet. So far, it doesn't seem to be hostile, but any attempts to communicate with it have been in vain, so we're unsure of the ship's intentions. Let's see. What do you think we're dealing with? Can't say for sure. Looks worn, but not cobbled together like a Crimson Fleet Junker. And others have been saying it's some new Varun design, a gigantic battleship with hidden armaments preparing for assault, but that doesn't check out either. There's also been talk about non-human sentient life. The comms data we received might support that, but humanity's spread far and wide and no one's ever encountered anything like that. Still. First contact. Could you imagine? They didn't respond to the communications. Eh, not quite. It took some time, but we received a transmission. It was all... Pardon the phrasing. It sounded almost alien, like nothing anyone's heard before. Clicks, distorted groans, buzzing, really disturbing sounds. Now, 
One of our engineers says it could just be some busted comm equipment or incompatible signals, but we're not sure. So far, no one's disembarked from the ship. No landing craft, nothing. We don't have the staff or ships to spare, and otherwise we'd dock with it and attempt to board. Yeah, what kind of a ship is it? Anyone idea who it belongs to? There's no discernible markings or allegiances to any manufacturers we're aware of. I'm hoping that doesn't mean we're dealing with some sort of new deep space threat. Okay, seems like a delicate situation. Go on. It is. Whatever's going on, we need to approach this with care. First, see if you have more luck communicating with them. If not, you may have to try boarding. Whatever you do, it's important to remember to seek diplomacy with who or what ever's on board. I can do that. I'm very diplomatic. If you have any more information, report to Oliver Campbell. He's the CEO of Paradiso. All formal decisions will need to go through him, and he'll have your pay. Good luck. Okay, the graphics have been completely... Ooh. Be gone. Let's see if we actually can... Well, let's see. Can I set the course to the... So let's see what happens if I do that. The graphics return to normal. If not, I have just have to uh, restart the game. It's just a glitch of where we where we were. Oh, I don't think there's a glitch of where we were. Hold up. Uh, let's check the map. Where is that ship? Oh, over there, perhaps? What is that ship? So, well, I think I have to reset the game. There's uh, this is completely not correct. Okay, um, safe in a different area if possible. I'm going to say five. Yes. And uh, reset the computer. Let's try that again. And we're back. Okay. Uh, just reset the game. I just went to the uh, main computer, main sorry, the main min menu and changed. Uh, okay. Our unidentified ship. Can already hail, apparently. Sorry, you're breaking up. Can you try a different channel? Hello? I don't think this is working. I'm going to attempt a ducking procedure. Can we talk on board? Okay. Oh, it's not firing at me. No. Try docking. think we're gonna be okay that's bored
see what we can see. So, alien ship or something else? I don't. I've never heard of being alien creatures in the game. I mean, intelligent alien creatures. So, let's see what. Okay. This doesn't really look alien. And obviously the text above is in weapons at the ready. Remain calm. There's no reason to suspect whatever it is is hostile. Hello. You're human. What are you? Oh, we're human. From the planet Earth in the Sol system. What's I'm human? I take it you were expecting something else? It's just that we weren't expecting to find life, let alone human life out here. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. Well, um. What is this ship? You've come aboard the Earth colony ship, Constant. Generations ago, we set forth from the planet Earth with the mission of colonizing a new habitable world in the spirit of our ancestors nearly a millennium ago. Okay, I'm Christine, and I'm here to help. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200-year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by... well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and... the others. Love to know more, but maybe we should get away from this airlock first. You know, the others are human beings. Oh, you know about the people on the surface? Communications didn't work. Why is that? We're not entirely sure. Our engineers believe it's possible to our technology just isn't compatible with theirs. All we hear when using them to communicate with anyone is a bunch of disturbing noise. It gave me the heebie-jeebies at first. The, um... So, you know about the people on the surface? We do. Well, sort of. We saw structures using our surveying equipment. We've also seen the various ships pass us by. Some even seemed to want to communicate, but couldn't. Of course, we had no idea that they were being piloted by other humans. Well, I'll have to know more, but maybe we should get away from the airlock first? Oh yes, of course. Where are my manners? Now then, please follow me. There's much to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. Okay. Dr. De Costa, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Captain. I will follow you to the bridge, ma'am. For security purposes. I do not believe that are to indeed our a bit um, I'll allow it if you insist. Doing weird things, but at least we can see where we're going. Welcome to the Earth colony ship constant. In the early 2100s, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, researched a number of scientific scenarios climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction-level event to be within 50 years. He fully believed Earth was destined to be rendered uninhabitable. We've always assumed that's what happened. We got strict rules so around he here. He gathered the best and brightest he could reason. find, built the constant, and set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. 
It really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. Bit of like a, a fallout shelter. A peaceful ship. Don't change it. Just stay out of trouble. Yes. So here we are. Let's talk. Yes, let's talk. No matter the outcome, I won't let my crew down. Let's see, it sounds like you could use some help with your situation here. Well, as I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? See, um, people in Paradiso want the same. I'll help. Ah, oh, so they have a name, Paradiso, and it sounds promising that they sent you here to speak with us. You see, we intended to settle here, but we assumed that they intend to defend their claim given their presence here. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution, preferably one that favors us. Hmm. I'll try, but diplomacy may require a compromise. Or let's just find another planet. Based on the data our ancestors had when they launched this endeavor, it was determined that this was the perfect planet for us. Even if we had another viable candidate planet, we lacked the resources to get there. And as you know, it took us 200 years to get here. Our people have no desire to go back to drifting the stars so their children's children can possibly settle on an inferior planet. A claim to this planet? How could others settle when here? When we left Earth, there were no claims to planets this far out into space. We had assumed that we were the only ones attempting a generational journey such as this, meaning that there would be no need for a formal claims process. Regardless, my ancestor, Rupert Brackenridge, did manage to file a charter for this planet's first colony to be named New Jamestown. According to his records, no one took it seriously when he filed it, so likely it was either ignored or the records were lost to the ages. Given humanity's lack of interest in colonizing the far reaches of space at the time, it shouldn't have been a problem. But again, here we are now. Hmm. I can do it if you tell me what you like to me to say to them. Excellent. Make no mistake, this is our planet, and we intend for them to see this our way. Oh. So, speak with their leadership and see if you can negotiate a solution on our behalf. Preferably, get them to see things our way. Report back to me and let me know what they say, and we'll go from there. Tomorrow is huge, but it's just set on the other side of it. We thought about it, but it simply won't do. I need to think about the distant future of our people. Sure, our first settlement may be small, but our predecessors dreamt of our new civilization spreading across the globe. That will be difficult if someone else plans to do the same. While we're not completely close to the idea of sharing, it's much easier if we have complete domain over this world. Oh, so do not even want to share. You're not a mind, you're not, you're not, no way they're gonna go for that. I'm serious. We have a rightful claim to this land, and I intend to fight for it. But as you're currently our only hope, perhaps you'll honor my request and give it your all, for the sake of some very weary travelers who have come a very long way to be here. Thank you. Oof. Okay, uh, 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 compromise. We didn't anyone would be out here, but I'm glad for it. Oh, okay. Safe I travels can't, to you. I can't speak. I know Captain Brackenridge has essentially given you free reign to wander the ship. I hope you understand, given we have so little experience with people from the outside. It pays to take security seriously. Something I understand much better now than in my youth. Uh, okay. Never seen a ship like yours before. Well, then again, I haven't seen any ships before you arrive. Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work to take down troublemakers. These, they are some friendly people. 
Oh, we can't take down troublemakers. Ooh. Okay, oh. Arboretum. And the security carrying weapons. Why is the security carrying weapons? Okay, um... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how am I going to get to my ship? I put to get lost again. You will always appreciate it. Um. Oh, hello, command bay. Is there a um, medical bay? Engineering. Command bay. Is it medical now bay. Now that we know it's out there, things are going to be more interesting from here on out. We just came from that. Okay, so we walk over here. Maybe we came from over there. I think we did. I think we came from over here. Cargo bay. I think we came from the cargo Careful bay. Careful waving yes. that fancy gun around. We don't need to see what it can do. Look at the guys. We, we were never trained to address threats coming from outside our ship. Yeah, they are very friendly guys. Careful with your uh, with your gun and. Uh, these, these guys are really, really friendly. They want to stake a claim to the entire planet. Not... They might want to share, but... Oh. Oh, I was actually oh. here. Okay. That I can't fix the communications. There's no option for me to fix the communication. Hey, I need to set the course for set course. First, of course, I need to get myself a suit or a security outfit. I couldn't find one in the security uh, offices. Before I speak with this Campbell guy, who is the leader of the colony, um, I might see if I can get a nice suit or something like that because I need to speak with him with him for different reasons as well I should leave behind my uh, space suit I'm currently wearing my space suit Maybe I can get something over here. Let's see. Um, apparel. Wait. Oh, no, sell? No, 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 not sell. Ooh. Can't buy anything Actually, over here. A question. Usually, when I come here, the shuttle takes a certain route, showing me the beauty of this world. But this time. Okay. Obviously, we need to go be over there.
maybe I can find a officer, sorry, a security office. The security office again? Seems like the Crimson Fleet is everywhere these days, spreading like a virus through the settled systems. Been here before. No, this is facilities, places abandoned in the colony war. That way, still there. They can strike anywhere. I'm sure, whatever you work out with Oliver will be fine. I speak with you about the guys in the ship. Between you and me, that ship is the most exciting thing that's happened here in ages. Yeah, it's gonna be very exciting. It's gonna be very, very exciting indeed. I don't see any security offices. Uh... Oh, hold on. Oh. Oh, hello. Have we been here before? I don't think we have. Supply. We, mm. It's of course obvious. I don't think we're going to find any uniforms in here. Well, there's no... Nothing here. I mean, there's no... What? Sorry. People are really friendly around here. Okay, the graphic is still... Stuck. Oh, and this door was... Uh, locked, wasn't it? Yes, okay. So, okay, let's get out of here. To the main building. Maybe there's a shop over there where I can actually can buy a nice suit. With, uh... Is there a way for me to get there now? Like that is. Okay, what is this? This is a. Most I suppose. Uh, what is it? What is this? Okay. Oh. Hello. Well. Are you a shop owner? Why, hello, darling. Welcome to Enhance Paradiso. You. We can make you know. thinner, larger. Or perhaps I can interest you in the Paradiso Getaway Bundle promotion. What is it? Uh, what is the... Take care of your beautiful self. Okay, this is a place where you can actually get yourself, uh, your character enhanced. Or, uh, uh, changed. Oh, hello. There's a store. Howdy. Several store. I don't think they sell uh, costumes, but. Holla at me if you need some help. I guess. <sighs> Welcome to Paradiso Gift Shop and Convenience. Feel free to look around, but don't break anything. And before you ask, there aren't any. Why do I get the impression you don't like your job? Why would I? I have to sell overpriced crap to rude, obnoxious tourists all day. My uncle works for the Paradiso board. When he said he could get me a job here, I expected an executive level job, not this. <sighs> but it's not all bad. I don't have to worry about getting fired. And I live in Paradiso for free. <laughs> now, can I get you something, or are you going to keep asking questions about my life? Are you sure I can't talk you down to any of the prices? No. Ugh. You people.
Eiffel always think that just because we're some French planet and not part of the free stars or whatever, that we're happy to haggle for everything. <laughs> I wouldn't even care, honestly. But they take it out of my I see all kinds of missing, weapons so no, crates behind no you. Discount. What? What kind of hotel sells weapons? Okay, Looking let's see what you have. Looking for or just forgot something at home? Yeah, I forgot a nice suit. Let's see. What do you have? You have apparel? Huh. Well, yeah, no. There you go. Oh, that's not a nice suit. Okay, um... You don't mind? Hello. Hello. Maybe I can find a nice suit in one of the penthouses. But just stealing. Let's see. Maybe I can steal a suit. I can actually enter, of course, one of the penthouses. Of course, I can't because I require a key for that. This is also a. Or is it still accessible? Okay. Okay, let's try the other floor because there were. The, uh, this was the fifth. There was okay, fifth floor premium suites. If these are open, you can just steal a nice suit. Oh, okay. They're not really. In a nice suit, but. They, oh, hello. This is. be hanging their suits no they won't okay hey or oh, which one open we have a guard here that's nice or oh, won't open paradiso security is only here for your safety Pretend we're not even here. I would like to do this, so, but that's also locked. That's not going to work, unfortunately. So none of these doors will actually open. Because, of course, uh, expected as this is a. Uh, Hotel. Okay. Oh, this is the elevator I came from. This door is also locked. These people are not wearing nice suits. Okay. Well, let's talk to uh, Hansio first. Maybe we can find something over there. Have a great day. We try to stay out of our guests' way, but we're always here if needed. Excuse me, you can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? See, uh, kind of do. You have a problem with a ship in orbit, and I'm here to help. Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? Oh, yeah, I like a nice suit. Uh, let's see. Where everyone thought when the ACS constants showed up. Oh, that is a ship. People ship, were a little freaked out around here, understandably. It looks so different and it's so massive. We honestly thought we were under attack by an unknown entity. But then nothing happened. It just stayed there. No one you know what, with what the ship's name was. And we've been very careful not to alert the resort guests. The board believed it would be bad for business. What can you tell me about the board members? <laughs> what I could tell you would get me in a lot of trouble. Most of them are typical C-level execs. I doubt you even need to use your imagination for that. 
the ones that show up to work day to day at least. I swear, I've never even met some of them because they chill at their own private secluded beach homes all the time. Anyway, be smart around Oliver. He's got a way of getting what he wants without you realizing it. And that's all I'll say. Take care. Okay, hold up. Because I... Bl oh, I thought I had a skill point left. I didn't. Okay. I hope your stay here is going well. Yes. Oh. Oh, you need to open the door. I yeah. I thought I had a skill point left, so I thought I could. Let me uh, know if I'm able to help with anything. Sure. Have fun that, in the um, I can do another and skill point in, in talking. Okay. Oh. Um. Hmm. I. Hold up, because I believe I'm still wearing my spacesuit. It will take off right now. Do I have anything at this moment? Give me a bit more. Oh, hello. Yeah, intimidation. Yes. And speed, health, and O2. We'll just keep this what we have. I just feel that we should be focusing on the natural beauty of this planet, not our amenities. There are millions of planets. Any out there. suits around we can here? Go to any one of them. The resort facilities are precisely what we bring to the table. Heck, <laughs> it's the only thing we've really got to offer. Ah, no lucky. I'm I don't want to the risk us coming off as just about another the beaches without a care in the universe. Trash little dump like me on. We're only That's three board members? We We've no, of course not. There's several here. more. We We're just the ones who show up that. day to day. The others spend their time lazing on the beach, gallivanting off world. Doesn't bother me though. Less cooks in the kitchen means I get to make all the big decisions around here. Seems to be working out for us just fine. Not looking at me, are you? Okay, I understand you're the man I need to talk to about the strange ship in orbit. I am. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm going to cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> Sure, whatever, it's brilliant. Hmm. Sarcasm isn't nearly as powerful a tool as some think it is. But you're right. No one's gonna buy aliens. Remind me to fire the marketing team. So tell me, what's the actual deal with this massive eyesore of a ship? Besides scaring people away. <sighs> okay. What would you say if I told you really was an alien mothership? No, okay. Old Earth colonist, desperate to settle after 200 years. I'm sure you can exploit that. That's interesting. The old Earth ship full of uptight colonists who think they own your planet. A generation full of colonists here after 200 years. No, let's do this. Old Earth colonist, desperate to settle after 200 years. I'm sure you can exploit that. Bonza, that means we got them right where we want them. Yes. Now, tell me. What are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. E. Uh -huh. oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. 
Just tell me what you want to do. Let's see. Um, okay, there's a civil on the other side of the planet or something. We own this planet. They don't. Here at Paradiso, we don't like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Imagine the landscaping disasters they might come up with. And how that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. No, much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance. I understand for your point from a business stance, but I disagree. And that's within your right. But as the CEO of Paradiso Group, I'm the one who has to make and approve decisions around here, not you. So, as much as I appreciate your feedback, it's not in the best interest of the Paradiso Group to take it into account. See. Let's see what exists. Are you suggesting I destroy the ship? I'm not suggesting anything. Other than it would make our lives so much easier if that ship ceased existing. Make of that what you will. Okay. Um, so they can live here but be in endured servants. Oh, I didn't say that specifically. This would be a mutual contract for room and board in exchange for services rendered. Of course, there's no telling how long this arrangement will last, given the substantial costs we'd need to take on in order to accommodate them here, including their continued room and board. But this may save the resort on operating costs in the long term, as we'd be able to let go of some of our current paid staff. <laughs> hmm. Wait, why do I have to buy the ground drive? It's our responsibility to bear the brunt of that cost. We're being more than generous by offering the use of our engineering team to help install it. A custom grab drive can't come cheap, and I assume they have neither the monetary means nor the connections to get a hold of that kind of technology. That leaves the only other party in this negotiation. You. I think I made up my mind. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain. Um, what if, after all this, they continue to assist their claim to this planet as the date predates yours? They'd be hard-pressed to defend their claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation. We may be outside the settled systems, but that charter's official as can be. I'm There's sorry, another... but you're going to need to be the one to break the news to them that they need to make a compromise or leave. Hmm. No, 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 no. Convince them to take the settlement deal. Yes, we're tabling it for now. Let's circle back around ASAP, though. Well, I'm, I'm going right. to see if I can actually can Thank find... You. I. We don't want to compete with Neon. Bayou's ruthless. He'll do anything he can to eliminate the competition. We don't need that kind of trouble. That being said, I think there's a middle ground. Maybe build up the beachfronts at a boardwalk amusement park. I've had this idea to build artificial hot springs. Hello? I didn't realize Kiwi was letting people in here. So, about that colony ship. And you've made your decision? We can help them resettle here and work off their debt. Okay. Yes, we're tabling it for now. If you've heard about us elsewhere, oh, chances tabling. are. Oh, 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 I thought, I thought they agreed uh, with the situation. Okay, but. Hold up. Wait, it's. The, hmm, what? The mission is still active. What's going on? Fick, I thought I negotiated it. Is weird. Okay, let's try that again. If it's not important, bring it up with. And you've made your decision. Convince them to take the settlement deal. Right. Assuming they agree to the terms, okay. I've got a list of resources you'll need to gather and bring back so we can support the new arrivals. 
We'll need to improve our lodging and infrastructure, plus account for future projects to support an increased population. Don't care how you procure them, just make sure to bring them here with you before we can consider this a done deal. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso Group, we appreciate your help. Yes, but as I was saying, maybe, I'm not quite sure if that is possible, maybe we can actually obtain a document, because it wouldn't be a Bethesda game. It would be in Bethesda, it wouldn't be a Bethesda game if it did mention there is a document somewhere. Uh, quickly on the roof. Paris, if there is no way to obtain a suit over here, I don't think there is. This is probably the best vacation I've ever taken. There isn't. Okay. Everything here is a little more expensive than I expected. Guess that's how they get you. Hey. Conundrum, because guy is such a pompous ass I think that particular document might have been e might be effectively a better solution I'm here to satisfy your needs I hope your stay is a pleasant one ah there isn't a Was my mission going? But there isn't. Okay. Um. This is a conundrum because actually I hope to find an option to get the um to get that document above water. The document. Predates, precedes, no, predates the claim of the Paradiso company. I would like to slap that into his face. It has been mentioned several times. Tim back a bit said there is a document. It might be lost somewhere. He wouldn't mention it in a Fesda game. It wasn't around somewhere. And the head of the uh, Al Oliver Campbell wouldn't mention it either if there wasn't any information. What is, by the way, this is not it, isn't it? Oh, that's not it. Oh! I can buy a suit from Aito in the Russian Tower Lobby. Oh crap. Hmm. Okay, so that is where I should have bought my suit. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna walk back to my ship. I'm fairly new here, so sorry in advance if I speak something. Um. Maybe there is still a way to find that document. Interesting, by the way. Is he still talking to the robot? I have noted your repeat appearance at our resort. Thank you for your patronage. You have been automatically credited with 20% off your next stay. It is my sincerest wish that this humble robot servant has brightened your day. If I have failed in any way, please know that I am dreadfully sorry. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to ponder around on this uh, conundrum for a while. Anyway, I still have to uh, care of this uh, graphic glitch I am currently experiencing. So, um, hopefully you'll join me next time and uh, we have a better, uh, better graphic. Oh, hello. What's this? Well, always useful to have one around. 
So, hopefully we'll um, see each other soon in the next installment of Starfield. Hope to see you back as well. And uh, let me see. Let me just think about this uh, conundrum for a while. Bye.